to subscribe! The seventh treasure chest is in outer space. Let's go on an exciting expedition to outer space. Off we go! As Eddie pressed the button, the aircraft carrying his friends flew up into the sky. The aircraft soon arrived at the moon, the closest neighbor to the Earth. <gasps> My body feels so light! Huh? It's because the gravity here is weak! The Earth looks so beautiful from the moon. We were living on such a beautiful planet! Yes, we were! Eddie continued to explain. The solar system we live in has eight planets that orbit the sun. They are Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Now let's go through the portal and start our journey. The aircraft teleported through a portal that Eddie had built. <laughs> This star is the sun. It is the star that creates its own light. The sun was burning bright and was emitting massive amounts of heat and light. This is Mercury. Because it has no atmosphere, it is hot during the day at 430 degrees Celsius. And cold during the night, it goes below 180 degrees Celsius. The next planet is Venus. It's also called the morning star because it shines bright during the early mornings and evenings. You can even see it shine bright from our Earth. This planet is Mars. It's close to the Earth and it's covered with red rocks. It doesn't light itself, but the sun's reflection makes it look like it's shining with red light. Just then, they saw a comet with a long tail fly by. Everyone made a wish and then went on to their next destination. This planet is Jupiter. It is 1,300 times larger than the Earth. Jupiter's atmosphere is full of gas, so the stripy patterns keep moving around. This planet is Saturn. Saturn has a beautiful ring and lots of moons. This ring is made up of all sorts of ice. Isn't that neat? These planets are Uranus and Neptune. Uranus turns on its side and Neptune is the furthest planet from the sun. Just then, a group of asteroids flew towards the aircraft. Oh no! Watch out! Hang on, guys! But as they cleared away from the asteroids, they ran into a black hole. The black hole was something in everything surrounding it. <laughs> They escaped the black hole thanks to Eddie's amazing flying skills. Then they reached the beautiful Milky Way. Phew! That was dangerous! Just then, they saw the treasure chest floating around in front of them. Wow! We found it at last! Everyone was very happy. One day in a peaceful forest, Eddie was looking troubled. Why was he upset? <laughs> I haven't eaten in days. 
Oh dear, Eddie must have been very hungry. <laughs> Just then, he saw a vineyard in the distance. The vineyard was filled with grapes. Oh, they look delicious! But the entrance to the vineyard was guarded by the scary owner and his servants. Hmm, I have to find another way in. Just then, he found a small hole in the fence of the vineyard. Great! I can sneak in through here. Eddie soon sneaked in through the hole. He picked the grapes and ate them to his heart's content. <laughs> it tastes so good! <laughs> but he ate too much. His belly became so big that he couldn't crawl back out through the hole. What shall I do? <laughs> Eddie decided to wait until his belly became thin again. One, two, three, and four days passed. His stomach eventually started to shrink. After a few days, he became thin enough to finally crawl out through the hole. Oh, I finally escaped! <laughs> Oh, but now I'm back to being hungry again. <laughs> Eddie teared up feeling woeful. <laughs> Bororo's Moral No matter how hungry you are, you shouldn't steal other people's food or things. You might be happy at first, but you will end up regretting it just like Eddie. Try having this discussion. What would you have done if you were Eddie? One early morning, Bororo was on the hill looking after his sheep. Hey guys, I need some grass! But Bororo was bored of tending his sheep every day. <laughs> I'm bored. Isn't there anything fun to do? Then Bororo had an idea. Yes, that's it! He immediately rushed down to the town. Arriving at the town, Bororo shouted to his friends. Danger! The wolves are attacking the sheep! Hearing Bororo's yeah. noise, his friends hurried up to the hill. We have to yes. save the sheep! Let's help Bororo! But they didn't see any wolves on the hill. <laughs> It was a joke! <laughs> Bororo made fun of his friends. <laughs> the next day, Bororo ran to the village again and shouted. This time it's real! It's really the wolf! Help! But there was no wolf this time either. <laughs> This is so fun! <laughs> the friends were angry at Bororo for lying. But one day, the wolf really appeared. Feeling terrified, Bororo ran towards the town. Uh, help me! shouted as hard as he could. You're lying again!
again, right? You aren't fooling me again! The friends didn't want to help Pororo. <laughs> the wolf ended up eating all of his sheep. <laughs> My sheep! <laughs> Pororo cried, regretting that he lied about the wolf. <laughs> Pororo's Moral If you lie all the time like Pororo, nobody will help you when you really need help. But if you are honest, you will be surrounded by good friends. Try having this discussion. What would you have said to Pororo about lying? One sunny day, the sun was beaming with warmth. Then the wind blew in a big cloud. Hey son, are you really that strong? I bet you're not as strong as I am. The cloud was showing off. Then the cloud <laughs> challenged the sun with a game of strength. <laughs> Let's see who can take the coats off of those children passing by. A few moments later, the cloud blew as hard as it could upon the children. <laughs> Why is the wind suddenly blowing? The wind is too strong! But the stronger the wind blew, the tighter the children held on to their coats. Hey guys! Make sure your clothes don't blow away! The cloud eventually was out of breath and said to the sun, <gasps> I give up! Now you try. The sun smiled and began to beam its warm sunlight. The sun shined brighter and heated the entire land. the children took off their coats. What? They didn't even budge when I was blowing. I won't lose next time. The cloud turned red with embarrassment and ran away. And the sun smiled brightly once again. Bordeaux's <laughs> Moral if you go around boasting like the cloud, you might end up being humiliated. But if you are humble, you will be appreciated. Try having this discussion. What would you say to a friend that likes to show off? Dudu forgot his way back home. Gather the alphabets and help him find his way home. Let's gather the alphabets and look for the house! G. 
K Hurrah! You found Tutu's house. Tutu jumped into the air because he was so happy. M P D E O G I X J K Pororo's band music is lousy. Become a conductor and help them play the music. Find friends who are making mistakes. Guitar Violin Trumpet Piano Xylophone Drum Guitar Violin Trumpet Piano Bravo! That was amazing! Listeners are cheering you on. Guitar. Violin. Trumpet. Piano. Xylophone. Drum. Guitar. Violin. Trumpet. Piano. Pororo and his friends are hungry. Catch the fish and help your friends. Oh, I'm hungry. Clown. Muscle. Swellfish Starfish Seahorse Tuna Hair tail Squid Shrimp Mackerel Whoa! 
thanks to a whole lot of fish you caught, everyone had a very delicious meal. Clam, mussel, swellfish, starfish, seahorse, tuna, hare tail, squid, shrimp. Mackerel. The rabbits are spoiling Rupee's carrot farm. Punish the rabbits. Hit the rabbits with the squeaky hammer. Sky blue. Pink. Orange, navy, purple, yellow. Green, blue, yellow, green, red. Rabbits are all gone. Rupee made a delicious cake in return. Sky blue, pink, orange, navy, purple, yellow, green, blue. Yellow, green, red. Bororo and Krong are hungry. Bake the cookies with Rupee. When the cookies are baked well, press them. Yeah. Heart. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Star. <laughs> yum, yum. This Triangle. is delicious. Yum, yum. This is delicious. <laughs> Square. <laughs> yum, yum. This is delicious. Circle. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Heart. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Square. Yum, yum. This is delicious. Star. Yum, yum. This is delicious. <laughs> Triangle. Yum, yum. <laughs> this is delicious. Circle. Bororo and Krong are now full. Shall we try the cookies together? Heart. Star. Triangle. Square. Circle. 
heart, square, star, triangle, circle. Bororo and his friends are <laughs> in the storybook. I wish I could be Peter Pan. Crum crum. Eddie seemed to have a good idea, so he said, "Why don't we perform a Peter Pan play?" A play? Great! <laughs> but everybody wanted to play the star of the show, Peter Pan. <laughs> to be fair, let's pick sticks. <laughs> Yay! I'm Peter Pan. I have my <laughs> Captain Hook. And his friends were all envious Yahoo! that Portal got to be Peter Pan. Yeah. Later on, as the play started, Portal shouted out his line: "Hook, you villain! Let Wendy go!" But Portal's friends were being sulky and weren't cooperating. Who's Wendy? I have no clue. He <laughs> <laughs> I'm the star of the play. You guys should be following my lead. I don't want to. The play turned into a mess. Meanwhile, Loopy and Petty were passing by and stopped to see what was going on. <laughs> wow, are you guys performing a play? As the girls were looking forward to the play, Bororo got uncomfortable. <laughs> What shall I do? If it goes on like this, everyone will make fun of me. Hey guys, I'm sorry about before. Let's try and work together. The boys nodded and decided to agree <laughs> with Pororo. <laughs> okay. Soon the play started. Captain Hook, bend your knee. Peter Pan is here. <laughs> you can't take Wendy. <laughs> the friends worked hard together to perform. Taisu was not Peter Pan, but he did his best. He was just happy he could play with his friends. <laughs> Everyone cheered as the play came to an end. <laughs> the friends felt proud that they finished the play together. If you cooperate with each other, there is nothing you can't accomplish. <laughs>